A jail with broken or missing locks, sinking floors, and leaking walls. Branch County commissioners just approved a location for a new jail Monday night, hoping to make these issues a thing of the past. Today, 24 Hour News' Kyle Mitchell got a first-hand look at the long list of problems. This is where the new jail will be built right next to the old jail. The sheriff says the conditions were so bad, it even led to an escape. The floor is actually falling away from the wall down there. A quick tour of the Branch County Jail. So you can see in this room alone, look how many places where the cinder block is beginning to crush and beginning to break away. Reveals seemingly endless problems. And every door on the right, there's no lock in it. You can see the inmates are out walking around because the bathrooms and the showers are on this side and the rooms are on that side. With no locks on cells and minimum security or broken cell locks in other parts of the building. It's short, they'll short out, catch fire, and then they won't work. Branch County Sheriff John Pollock says approval to build a new jail to replace the one originally built as a senior home in the late 1940s was long overdue. It was never meant to be a jail. Voters approved the project to build a new jail and demolish the current site. The sheriff says construction is expected to cost between 20 and 22 million dollars. We'll be able to go from 147 to 220 beds and we won't have to add staff just because of the efficiencies of the design of the jail. The new design will also allow for better sight lines to watch inmates. Well, with this new design, we will be able to see all the movement. The sheriff says the deteriorating conditions led to an inmate's escape about six years ago with the help of a porcelain sink. The pipe, the trapping was exposed. They were able to break that off, crush it down by lifting a bunk up and smashing it, and then he used that as a hammer to bust out the glass in the window. The sheriff credits the community for their support after videos of the problems were posted on Facebook. When you drive by this facility, it doesn't look bad. But once you get inside and see just how bad it has gotten over the years. The sheriff says once construction begins at this site, it should take about 18 months to two years before the new jail is open. In Branch County, Kyle Mitchell, 24-Hour News 8.